Uh, in this one, we're going to program the range sensor so that my robot can drive up to a wall. Uh, you can find out more information about this range sensor uh, at Modern Robotics. If you click on it, they have a bunch of information and actual uh, Java files you can download and try out. Uh, if you have the FTC App Master, they even have some practice or sample code there for you that you can download to your phone. All you need to do is make sure that uh, you enable the code by commenting or deleting the disable tag. Inside of it, it creates a range sensor. And then in the run op mode, they initialize it, wait for start, and then in a loop, they print out information from the range sensor so you can get uh, information from the ultrasonic portion, information from the optical, and then there is a function called get distance which puts the two pieces of information together to get an overall distance from an object. All right, so make sure that because we've added a device that you go into uh, the configuration file and add it. It's the Modern Robotics range sensor. Make sure you type in the name, uh, which in this case was sensor underscore range. All right, so here I'm running the autonomous mode. And you can see at the bottom of my driver station phone, it's printing out information from the sensor saying how far the uh, object is from the range sensor. And I'm comparing it to a ruler that has centimeters on it. And I'm moving it back and forth, and I notice that different materials will give back different kinds of readings. So this CD is giving me, giving me very accurate distance measurements. Then I've switched to paper, and the readings from the optical portion, the part that's less than five centimeters or so, isn't nearly as accurate. So depending on your situation or the materials you're trying to uh, find the range from, you may want to just use the ultrasonic sensor, or you may find that the get distance function returns accurate enough information back. All right, so let's add the range sensor to my hardware test bot so that I can use it in my autonomous. So I'm going to create a variable to hold the range sensor, and that's going to be of the type Modern Robotics I2C range sensor. And I'm going to call the name of my range sensor range finder. I'm going to set that equal to null because we're going to set it up later in the init. Just like we have to map motors, we need to also map this sensor to some name that we're going to type into the phone. So type the name range finder of your range sensor, and then you need to map it so that it can find its name in the phone. And that's all you need to do to create the range sensor in your hardware file. Now go into your autonomous, and I want to remove my sleep. So I want to drive forward, and instead of sleeping for a certain amount of time, I want to sleep. I want to wait until I find the wall, and I'm five inches from the wall. To make this happen, we're going to use a while loop. And so you type while, and in parentheses, you're going to put some sort of test. And then after that, you're going to have curly braces, and you're going to do something over and over and over while that test is true. So in our case, our while loop is going to be checking the range sensor over and over to make sure that we are over five inches. So I'm going to say robot.rangefinder. That's the name of my range sensor. And then I'm going to type dot get distance. Remember, based on your experimenting with range sensor, you may want to use just raw ultrasonic. And then you have a choice of what units you want it to be returned in. I'm going to say I want mine in inches so that I can then say, look, wait while it's greater than five inches. And I put my curly braces. Uh, I'm going to print some information to my phone saying how far I am away from the wall. 
So I'm going to use telemetry code similar to what I used in my smart sleep. And I'm going to print to the screen the amount of distance away the object is. So I'm going to change what I'm printing to the screen. So I'm going to say distance. In inches, and then I'm not printing the runtime seconds, I'm printing the information from the rangefinder. And that's all we need to do to have a range sensor be used on our robot. We can use a while loop and check the distance over and over. And in this case, we're going to wait while it's greater than five, because as soon as it's five or less, we want to stop. And so we'll leave the while loop and then turn off the motors and park, and then move on with the rest of the program. Let's check it out. And there the robot moves forward till it senses the wall and stops and then moves its servo. If you find it's not as accurate as you want it to be, you may need to slow your motors or uh, explore using the ultrasonic portion only or changing the value that you want to stop at.